Hello everyone, I am King Mac, and I would like to thank you all for watching this feature presentation on YouTube. Be sure to enjoy a hot fresh cheeseburger along with some french fries, a tasty milkshake, and a nice soft drink. Thank you for watching, and now here is our feature presentation of TT Burger Game Reviews on YouTube. Welcome back everybody, it is your boy Tony bringing you more game reviews here on YouTube, TT Burger Game Reviews to be exact, as we're continuing Extreme Sports Month, 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 all the month of April here, bringing you games of skateboarding, snowboarding, surfing, and more and more and more. And today this is episode 213, part 1 of 1. We have a single pocket this time, made by, by Activision 02 once again and everything. And we went from skateboarding to BMX biking, and today we're going to go to snowboarding here. Now let's talk about snowboarding games here. There's a handful of them on the PlayStation 2, mainly the SSX games, like SSX, SSX Tricky, and SSX 3. Not telling that awful SSX on tour and stuff like that. And we have, have, have Dark Zone, which games I reviewed in the past, so I'll check those reviews out if you want to. But I have not talked about the one made by Activision here. And this is made by the people who made Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Like I said, we go from skateboarding to BMX, biking to snowboarding, and what will we do after that? Mm, I'm not sure, but you'll have to find out in episode 214. And this is a snowboarding game here, starring featuring the legendary Sean Palmer. And we got the game right here. This is Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder for the PlayStation 2 and the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color, which is on November 13, 2001. Now let's get started here. Sadly, Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder was not that good. I was disappointed by it due to the fact that there were control problems, gameplay issues, made it hard to do tricks and complete goals, and the game felt kind of lacking compared to SSX and Dark Summit and Amped and all, all those games. And it, you know, when we, when we, and the game felt weighted and stiff compared to SSX Tricky and Dark Summit, which were released earlier the same month. We got the snowboarders here like Sean Palmer, Sean White, Ross Powers, and more. I'll be playing as, the, as King Snowboarder himself, Sean Palmer. Then we get started after we reach the snowboard and we get into the game, and it has its good moments. But trying to be Tony Hawk in a snowboarding game does not work that well. Mainly because you go downhill the whole time, so you miss a goal, you have to you have to wait to go on one of the cable cars or snowbills to bring you back to, to the checkpoint or the beginning, or you just have to or you have to have to restart the thing all over again, so which can be a little monotonous and very frustrating. You have big levels to explore, and while it's a good idea on paper, this leads to a problem. The levels are so big that, 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 that it is hard to find your goals to complete them aside from the score goals and stuff. Sure, they make it a little easier by giving you the checkpoints to go and such, but, and then to go back and everything, but it costs you time on the clock, and you, you have like, like a timer, two minutes, three minutes, like that, depending on how big the level is and stuff, and you can go back to try the ramp you missed or so, and... and that is if you can land the tricks properly and stuff because it's hard to land tricks because like, there's like a balancing issue here and stuff. If you have to be perfectly landed or else if you like slightly off you fall. You have a good amount of levels I will say that much. A lot of them took place in California and like other parts of the United States and stuff like that. And they have great line to them and a smooth frame rate. The snowboarder models look detailed even if the faces look a little, look, look a little flat looking. But you can see them take, take their goggles off and stuff and everything like that. And that's really cool. They do animate like real people. And I love how the snow looks. Very cool looking snow. Very snowy. Lots and lots of snow. Sadly no Magic TT Burger snow because it's not Christmas time or so like that or, or, or December or January so you won't get the Magic TT Burger snow in this review here. The sound is also great. Great music by Spine Shanks, Static X and more and the rock tunes fit the snowboarding theme. I mean, what is not fun about having rock tunes while snowboarding? I mean, I know SSX had a variety of like rap and rock and R&B and stuff and pop and stuff like that but here it, the rock fit fits well. There's not much voice setting aside from the pedestrians in the background, and I will admit there is some fun to be had here when things are done right in the game, and it's to pull off tricks with the ramps and the rails and more, and getting, getting a nice high score is satisfying for sure. And being Sean Palmer, the man can do it for sure, or whoever you pick as your pro snowboarder. But due to how everything is set up, the only way to get a, get a lot of points is by going from one obstacle to another, back to back without stopping. 
Sometimes in order to com to complete to complete the, the Smash 5 or collect 5 of an item, you'll have to skip the ramp and such, or also cost you the goal and have to start all over. And that I don't like doing. I, li I like like to get to get to get to get the points along the way to upgrade my stats and everything. The controls are very slippery, even at times in the menus too. Like when you're in the menu navigating, one touch of the D-pad can, can make it go all over the place and stuff. And turning your character feels like a race car, like slipping and sliding all over the place, and even on solid ground, like, why am I slipping on solid ground? What's going on here? This is where SSX and Dark Summit did better, and they had races too, not just getting a high score, and, and other things too, and shortcuts and stuff. SSX Tricky had character to it, and charm and personality. All the characters talked and had rivals and more. Dark Summit had a story mode, sure the graphics were average as I told them sometimes they could use to, but still, it kept the game going. But still, both these games played better than Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboard and were more fun as well. Once again, I can recommend this only to snowboarding fans and extreme sport fans. But I'd rather see you guys play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 than this, which is well, what the game was trying to be. Tony Hawk's Pro Snowboarder. Hell, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX was a Tony Hawk clone and that felt like an expansion of times, but still, that was fun and replay value to it. Hell, even Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2 is better than this. And sure, the, the collection goals got very, very tedious like that, and it's like it felt like it, was, it wasn't doing anything different, but still felt like a be like an extreme sport game and stuff. This game, not so much. Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboard just has snow and scoring points and tricks and nothing else to it. Final thoughts here: If you do like snowboarding games, you might want to rent it. You might just 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 go go find a rental store and just rent it, or just. Or just skip and just get SSX or or Dark Summer or so. Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarding is a 5.5 out of 10 because of the problems I have with it. And it just it could have been better, but it just it just fell flat. And that's it for episode 2 or 13 of my of, of my extreme sport game games here, part one of one we did snowboarding. Next up we have another extreme sport game coming up. What we'll be covering next is the final switch. All I gotta say. If you like what you see, subscribe, like the video, comment down below, join my Discord group, TT Burger Gamers United, my Facebook group, TT Burger Gamers Group, and my Facebook page, TT Burger 88. Because all I gotta say is, this is Tony, peace and out, have a good day, and see you all in episode 214.